So our next challenge is making a sculpted cake of a unicorn. Unicorn is a horse. Horses are hard. If anybody's ever done drawing or drawing hands and horses are the hardest thing to do. Just specifically the proportions have to be just right otherwise it's gonna look like a lump <laughs> which is kind of uh, not what we want. So the horse unicorn is going to be lying down as a cake so that we don't have to build its four legs as a structure. So it's going to be lying down so we've got a couple reference photos and sketches of its proportions um, and we've scaled it out to how wide it is versus how long it is versus how long the neck is. The head is going to be made out of Rice Krispie treats. Um, specifically weight wise Rice Krispies are lighter weight than cake so that will be um, better structurally so that it doesn't get too heavy. Uh, also it allows us <clears throat> to get a little more shape out of the crispies versus just cake. So the head is crispy, we're gonna have a board underneath the head to support it, and then we're gonna have iron pipe going through the neck just to keep everything in place. So these are our doodles, these are our sizing. We've even gone shopping for some toys <laughs> so that we have reference, um, a 3D reference as far as how to sculpt uh, horses, muscles, uh, and proportions. So for the inside of cakes, what we like to do is three layers of cake before we start adding structure. Um, so we stack it up two layers of filling. When you get to the third layer, there's um, a certain amount of weight that you're gonna keep adding on the top. And so to support that weight, we put in these plastic bubble tea straws and they have a wide mouth. So they have enough surface area to hold the support of the cardboard on top of it. and then that cardboard and straws combined is going to hold the weight of the cake and the crispy and the fondant and everything that we're going to add on top of it. Okay, so today we're going to talk about unicorns. They're very important to us, especially me. This is a unicorn. At least that's what we think is a unicorn, because they supposedly don't exist. I am still mad about this. This unicorn is prime unicorn material. It has flowers in its hair, 
hair, not fur, hair. Um, and it has these like bell bottoms too, which are really important for unicorns. They are stylish, at least by 2002 standards. There is this one flower here that doesn't have leaves because, um, well, it gave up. So the some things about unicorns I find mysterious, like, do you call that a corn? Uni means one, so one corn, but that is not a corn, that's a horn. But we don't call them unicorns, or, well, we do, unihorns. <laughs> so why do we call them unicorns? I don't know. Let's look at other examples of unicorns. Look at this one. Majesty. It's about to take over this wide plain and there's a thunderstorm happening and it's pretty good. This one's in space. That's probably where they come from if they're real. I don't know. It's well muscled, which is kind of weird. That one is probably like an A minus. This one's an A plus plus. This one, however, is looking out over the mountains. They're all in these really epic sceneries, which is, which is good. This one has a very thick neck, which I am concerned about. Maybe he's angry. I don't know. But he also has these bell bottoms, but they're not as good as this one. I forget what we named this one. We have another horse figurine called Creamy Martinez. But this one is, it's pretty good. I think, I think my favorite one is this, is probably the space one, even though I gave this one the higher grade. Because this one, I, I, I think it's telling its origin story. This one is a little too dour to be a unicorn, I think. Oh, and I, I should give it a, a B plus. It still gets a good grade. And that's all I have to say about unicorns right now. So horses are really hard because of their proportions and if they're not right, it's just not going to look good. I struggled with these legs, these noodly legs. Uh, it was too long, it was too short, it was too awkward, it was too bony, it was not muscular enough. I don't know. <laughs> Horses have ears that look similar to other animals. Is it a cat? Or pig? Or this is a dog, floppy ears. Or is it a cat again? Or is it a pig? How are horses ears? I have no idea.
indeed it was supposed to be blue, so we backtracked a small bit. Which was really annoying because I had already put the legs on and sealed the seams on the legs, but that had all needed to be redone. I did also airbrush in between like her, her limbs and stuff and her cheekbones. I airbrushed like ivory. It was off camera, but just to add some more dimension and muscleness, muscular features. <laughs> 